Hey, what's up? Welcome to Jam of the Week on the Zim Video. This is where we discuss and review music. So, thanks for joining. Today we're going to talk about, or this video we're going to talk about Beth Whitney's album, The Wild Unrest. And Beth is um, a Seattle Northwest artist, and if you know anything about me, I'm from Seattle. And, whoa, look at that, Seahawks. And so, sometimes I'm going to be sharing with you, um albums, music that's not as known, um, and hopefully will expose you to more things. So let's talk about Beth's album, The Wild Unrest. Uh, so I like to rate on a scale of 1 to 10, and this one, I'm uh, 7.5, maybe 8. I'm going to be vague again on this one, um, and I'll tell you why in a second. So the three things I like to uh rate on the most that's what i look at the most is one the sonic landscape when i'm listening to it where does it take me song to song just individual like where where am i where what's going on how does it feel where does it go um the overall production and does it sound fresh new and inspired those are the three things i look at let's start with the sonic landscape sonic landscape on this one very um it's like a lullaby. It's like I'm, I'm sitting in a country um, next to a river, just listening to the water flow and wanting to fall asleep. It's like, that's what it feels like to me. Very peaceful, very restful. It's seven songs long and it pretty much stays in that one spot. So this is where the, probably where I would give the lowest rating or whatever. This is where the, it didn't make a 10, you know, because of the sonic landscape because it didn't take me enough different places um at least for me when i listen to an album i like to go somewhere i like to feel like oh one song sounds like this and then i travel over here and then i'm coming back and then i go all around so this one kind of kept me in one little area um great if that's where you want to stay if you want to stay peaceful and calm but i like to kind of move around a little bit more so that's for me the overall production this is the best part of this album the, the production quality was amazing. It's so good. Like the um, the mix, how it was mixed, the choices. One of the things, and this kind of plays in, I'll just roll into the, the third spot, which is um, the does it feel fresh, new, and inspired. And to me, I'm going to lay on the inspired part because it's like, to me, maybe I just don't listen to enough of this style of music or not, but it does feel inspired to me because it, it, it sounds different. It, it doesn't use all the traditional um, instrumentation. There's no drum set really. There's percussion things going on, but no drum set. So it's like, it, it keeps it kind of fresh for me. It keeps it kind of interesting in that way. It doesn't feel like I've heard this a thousand times before. I don't, I don't. And so it does have a little bit of that inspiredness for me. So um, that's, you know, I give it full marks on production and mostly full marks on the inspired aspect of it, the, the freshness to, to my ears. I really liked like that I don't, I can't just place, I can't go, oh, that sounds like this band or that band. So, and I like that. So, it's Beth Whitney's album. Check it out if you haven't. I will link this one up because it's more obscure probably than most of you know about. I will link it up for you where you can find it. But, um, you know, what I think about it is not important. What's important is what you think about it. So hopefully you can get a chance to listen to it, um, check it out, and then let me know in the comments what you think about the album. Um, that would be great. And if you are an artist, a uh, musician, and you want to share your music with me, you want me to hear it, I'd love to check it out. You can send it to the link to the email above or send me a physical copy to the address below. Both of those will be in the description of this, po of this podcast, of this video as well. And then... Of course, if you just there's something you want me to hear that you like, be sure to comment on that and, and share it with me. Say, check out this album. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this album or recording or whatever, and I'd be happy to do that. And of course, if you like this, thumb it up, share it around with your friends, subscribe to the channel. That would be awesome. And until next time, peace and be good to each other.